Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. But if you've accidentally discovered a wasp nest when working in the yard, you're not wondering, you know exactly how I got into that situation. And it happens to me about at least once a year and I get stung at least half a dozen times. Now, these forsythia bushes that I have on my property, I like to keep them into shape. I don't want to damage my bushes. These things are finally taking on a nice shape after 15 years of working on them. And the idea of spraying them with who knows what chemicals doesn't appeal to me. Come on, let's face it, using a spray would be boring. That's why I use a shop vac. It's way more fun, way more satisfying. Here's how I do it. And really fast, I should mention at the end when I empty the shop vac, I finally get to the bottom of the question, will chickens eat wasps? Okay, back to the video. So everybody's situation is going to be different as far as the exact setup. The basic idea is get the business end of your shop vac located close to the entrance of the wasp nest. And so for everybody, that's going to be different. A lot of times for me, it involves ladders, extension poles, some zip ties, uh, you know, balancing the shop back on chairs and all sorts of things to get it to where it needs to be. Okay, I think we're pretty much set up. Now all I need to do is actually push the, uh, the business end of this operation up near the nest. So the whole point is to get it all set up, have the vacuum pulling right near the nest, but not on the nest. And then you agitate the nest from a distance. Throw rocks, use a pellet gun, use a slingshot, whatever it takes. At a distance, agitate the nest. They're gonna come out looking for who's causing the problem, and they're gonna go for that end of the uh, shop back hose. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so the thing that I'm running into this time around that I don't normally have a problem with is because I'm recording this for YouTube, uh, they're focusing on the cameras. I don't normally have cameras when I do this, and so it's, uh, it's adding uh, more bait for them to attack. So it's working, it's just taking longer because there's multiple targets. So um, I recommend if you do it, don't film it, or at least film it from a distance where the, the wasps aren't interested in the camera more than the suction end of the hose. Okay, so funny story. I thought I had this one all figured out, and uh, before I went in and completed the video, I decided to finish trimming. And you guessed it, I found another nest. So you get two for one. Here we go. It's probably not a good idea to just run your shop back endlessly, you know. Uh, that will probably shorten the life, if not just burn it out. Keep them activated, you know, keep them really angry and agitated, and keep that shop back at the entrance, and you'll find that pretty quickly, 10, 15 minutes, you've sucked them all up, and they are now in your shop back. Do not open your shop back for a couple days, or leave it out in the sun for a couple days and, and make sure that they're all dead. You don't want, you don't want a surprise. Okay, a couple final notes before we open the shop back. If you're allergic to bug bites, bee stings, wasp stings, don't risk it. It's not worth it. Don't do any of this. Another caution is don't leave the shop back unattended. Don't just, you know, have it running while you're in the house uh, making dinner. It's too dangerous to do something like that. Always be uh, nearby, I, like I said, at a distance, but always, always be uh, keeping an eye on the shop back. And now, on to opening the shop back. Don't open it too soon. Don't, don't be impatient. Wait, because the last thing you want to discover is that there was one lone survivor. 
not worth it. So, like I said, set it on the patio where there's some nice sun beating down, um, wait a day, it's just not worth the risk. I should also mention that if you notice that there are wasps still active at that wasp nest, obviously it means you didn't get them all because wasps don't reuse nests and they don't use other wasps nests. And so you need to be thorough when doing this. Okay, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, not bad, check this out. Now, I said at the beginning that we would find out whether or not chickens like to eat wasps. And you might be surprised by the answer, I don't know. Um, before I do that, thank you for making it to this point in the video. You guys are amazing that you have the attention span to watch crazy videos like this. I really do appreciate it. It keeps me motivated. Um, thank you very much. You probably noticed that I have a t-shirt that has a chicken related slogan. I have lots of uh, shirts that I've designed uh, in my shop revolving around, you know, splitting wood and foraging and gardening and, and things like that. So if you're interested in those things, be sure to check that out. Okay, so will they eat them? Let's find out. All right, you little monsters, let's give this a shot. Okay, here we go. Nobody? No takers. No takers. I, I honestly didn't expect that. <laughs> um, my chickens will eat anything. I am, I'm flabbergasted. Uh, let's see here. Probably what happened, uh, the dominant hen, that's her, she probably had a bad experience, I'm guessing, uh, and she told everybody about it. Um, dominant hens are very good at uh, telling everybody else what they should and shouldn't eat. And so whenever you see chickens kind of like, urch, nope, we're not gonna eat that, they're clearly under strict orders uh, from the dom dominant hen. So there you go, you learn something every day. I am also one of those people that learn something every day because I guarantee you, I thought they were gonna eat it. Okay, Bubba's, everybody over here. Everybody over here. At the beginning, I mentioned that we would find out whether or not wasps are something that chickens would like to eat. Why don't I say that the other way around? But I think the way that I have come up with is very fun. And I think fun is important. <sighs> okay, funny story. Uh, I thought I had this one all figured out. Uh, I had finished. Anyway. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked this video, you might like these.